Generative AI poses unique challenges for leaders. It has enormous potential, but there are many unknowns. John Halamka, president of the Mayo Clinic platform, has been pioneering how to incorporate cutting edge technology in healthcare for more than 30 years. In this video, he tells us what he thinks the top challenges are for leaders with this fast moving technology and how to strike a balance between caution and innovation. When you think about AI and, and what's happening right now, what, what do you see as the most pressing leadership challenges that business leaders face right now? So separating hype from reality, right? I think we're at the peak of the Gartner hype curve for many aspects of Gen AI, but we're heading rapidly toward the trough of disillusionment as people realize it's not gonna solve every problem. It may not have the safety and the quality and reliability we want. So being able to navigate that tension of, I wanna embrace innovation, I wanna be a market leader, but I also wanna be a little careful on not to over rely on overhyped technology. What's the best way to do that when there's all this, you know, energy going towards something that's that's uh, seems like a unavoidable force? At Mayo, our approach has been to take our 85,000 employees and say, what problem do you want to solve? And then to look at all the suggestions, we've got 355 applications and say, which of these are actually going to be safe? and appropriate to address with Gen AI. We happen to choose eight focus areas, and then in those eight areas, we're doing research. That is, we're implementing and measuring and watching to see what works and not. And then we'll go very fast. So sometimes we say, start small, think big, move fast. You're in healthcare. That's, that's a pretty regulated, risk-averse kind of industry. How do you manage to um, move ahead with that innovation in, in that context? Like, wh how do you balance that being innovative, but also being, you know, safe? Well, and of course, there have to be guardrails for everything that you do. I recognized two years ago that if we were going to deploy AI to scale, we better have some nationwide standards. How do you look for bias? How do you ensure these things are fair, appropriate, they're effective? So, with a number of folks, we put together something called the Coalition for Health AI, CHI. <laughs> and you'll find it at chai.org. It's all nonprofit, volunteer, all the artifacts that we make available are open source. But the key was we created a community, a coalition of government, academia, and industry working together to answer your question. Well, what should be the guardrails for the country? What should be the community standard? So work with others. Conferences, coalitions are a good place to start. Are there any other leadership challenges that um, people are maybe not paying attention to right now that, that they really should? Gen AI isn't cheap, <laughs> right? The amount of hardware, software, expertise, energy that you need is significant. And so some organizations are saying, well, we better not invest in all of this because, oh well, it's a distraction. Or remember, doing what you're doing today, working exactly the same as you were doing today, is unlikely to result in a different outcome than you're getting today. So you'll have to make an investment and you'll have to recognize it will pay off, but it may take time. Given where we are right now in the evolution of AI, what do you see coming ahead in the next year or two that leaders really should be paying attention to? Be very careful about predicting the future, <laughs> right? And so Bill Gates taught us that we wildly overestimate what we'll do in the short term, but underestimate what we'll do in the long term. And Gen AI has its problems. No question. Hallucination, uh, the fact that you just can't make sure that every output is going to be reliable or safe. But I think we're going to see the rapid acceleration of the technology and guardrails put in place so that it will be much more effective in 2025 than we think. Wow, that soon. I, yes. I mean, just keep in mind, I have never seen a technology move as fast as this one is moving. So it will get better rapidly. Don't underestimate it. Right. Well, John, thank you so much for taking the time to chat. 
and sharing your experience and your insights with our audience. Thanks so much. Anytime. I hope you enjoyed part two of my interview with John Holamka. Please be sure to check out part one, where we discuss John's top tips for staying ahead of AI disruption. For more of our interviews with industry leaders, check out this playlist. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.